And now we go over to Pam, who has a guest in the booth. Thank you, Joe. And I'm joined by Indiana Department of Natural Resources herpetologist Sarah Beth Clee. Welcome to the weekly special. Thank you. And welcome to our special guest, a box turtle that you brought in today. Um, let's ask just simply, where can you find box turtles in this area of Indiana? Is there a place where we find them more? Uh, box turtles are primarily woodland animals. Okay. So anywhere in the woods, if you go hiking out in any of our state parks, you're probably going to come across some. And what do they feed on usually? Uh, they eat a mixture of uh, berries and plants and insects. Mm -hmm. And um, also, it, it seems like um, they may be in danger because of technology and things like that. What are some of the dangers they're facing today? One of the biggest dangers is uh, getting run over by cars. Mm -hmm. We've got so many roads nowadays and um, box turtles try to cross the roads to get to the other side of, of a woodland area that they maybe had frequented before and mm -hmm. um, sometimes cars just don't see them or um, they just happen to get hit. Now, and I have seen them before, are they, are they fairly safe if you stop the car, if you're able to safely to just pick it up and take it to the other side? If you're able to safely, that's a great idea. The okay. best thing to do is to set them off in the direction that they were going. Okay. Otherwise, they're going to try to turn around and go that way again. Very determined turtles. Mm -hmm. What sets them apart from other turtles as far as their markings? Um, well, box turtles are different from all the other turtles we have in Indiana because they're land turtles. Okay. All of our other turtles are pretty much aquatic. Mm -hmm. And um, so these guys, like I said, if you're out on a hike, you're going to see these out walking around. And they've got the domed shell that other turtles don't really have. And they've got the usually kind of a yellowish, orangish marking mixed with black. Okay. Now, uh, she's not moving very much now. I don't know if she's sleeping, but can we bring her out sure. just to kind of get an up-close look? <laughs> now, let's say... Let's say my, my son and I, who take a lot of hikes um, around the area, and find one, and he falls in love and wants to take it home. Can we do that? No, you can't. No. Um, as of 2004, Indiana made a law that it is illegal to remove box turtles from the wild. Okay. And where can you find out information about box turtles and the regulations? You can such? go to the DNR website. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of information on box turtles, all of the current regulations. It also has other information about other reptiles and amphibians that we have in the state. Okay. And uh, so you cannot take it home no matter what? Correct. Okay. <laughs> we'll just get that, that out of the way because I'm sure we're going to run into a lot. Um, does the weather affect them very much with the strange heat and the rain that we've had it does. recently? It does. They tend to come out and they like to walk around a lot when it's wet. That's why you'll see a lot more box turtles on the road after a rain. Okay, great. Well, th very calm right now. She is right now. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean she's getting ready to fall asleep? I don't know. And if she's not in her shell, is she just perfectly comfortable? She's pretty comfortable, yes. Yeah. yeah if she were scared, she'd be um, closed up. How long to do turtles like this, how long can they live? In the wild, they can live up to 50 years, maybe a little more. Mm -hmm. um, Oftentimes they don't make it that long because they do get hit by cars, right? Or mm -hmm. um, you know, people take them home. So okay, so don't do that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and again, if people want to find out more information, you can give us the website one more time. It's a, the DNR website, and you can uh, type in herpetology, and that'll bring up the herpetology page, and it's got all the information about box turtles and the current regulations. Okay, Sarah Beth, thank you so much for coming today, and and hello, and bringing the box turtle. And for now, we're going to go back to Joe. All right, thanks, Pam. And we'd like to remind you that in addition to the new Nature Center at McCormick's Creek, you can get an up-close look at Hoosier wildlife at several DNR properties across the state. 